All right, Lewis, I had uh, last week I told on the bonus show uh, a big story of a power loss at my apartment here in Boston, and it revealed how uh, incredibly unprepared I am for the power loss. And I actually put on my Instagram feed, which is at David dot Pacman, a picture of the Eversource trucks showing up and doing work. And this is the second most popular picture on my Instagram feed over the last week. And the number of people who commented after our story about how I didn't even I, I wasn't even properly prepared with ice packs to keep food cold in the fridge as the fridge uh, temperature trickled up and up and up. Um, and uh, the entire weekend was spent, Lewis, uh, not the entire weekend, but a lot of the weekend researching what needs to be in my prepper kit. And I think I'm going to start doing some slight prepping for this. Yeah, it's really not as big a deal as when you lose power in winter. That is something that is um, uh, much more dangerous. And so while it's annoying to lose yeah. food and stuff like that, I, you're, you're not going to die while sleeping in your apartment. No, no, no you're, you're, you're right about Kondo, that. I should say, excuse yes. me. Yes. Well, it's all the same. I mean, it's in a, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Um, okay. So that's the second most popular picture on my Instagram feed, which now is over 2000 followers. I will mention at David dot Pacman on Instagram. And wow. then Lewis, this picture, this people loving this picture. And I have to say the detail on it is quite stunning. We went hiking over the weekend, Lewis in Western Massachusetts. And I came across a millipede and I took a picture. This is my new phone, my Samsung S7. The detail on this picture, I don't know what I'm doing, Lewis. It's quite stunning, the, the level of detail that you can see here. It really is. Uh, my phone, actually, the, the camera on it doesn't even work right now. That's a software issue. Sure. But um, when it does, it's really not that great a camera. The <laughs> right. phone is great. Everything's great except the camera. I, I do wish it had a better camera on it. I posted this picture of this huge millipede to Instagram and then people started yelling at me to leave it alone, that it's harmless. Number one, I wasn't planning on doing anything to this thing. I don't yeah. go around squishing bugs. That's number one. But number two, of course, I posted the picture much later. Like I didn't post the picture and then wait around for two hours for, for to figure out what it is I should do with this thing. So it was kind of funny people saying, don't squish this thing. But someone wrote to me and said, David, these millipedes secrete a compound related to cyanide if you pick them up and it smells really good like amaretto. I have no clue if that's true. I've deliberately not looked that up to just mention it on the show. It, 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 could that possibly be true that these millipedes smell like amaretto when you pick them up? Uh, I'm I'm quite certain that that is true. I don't know if it's millipedes or certain caterpillars yeah. or what have you, but there definitely are creatures that do that. Yes. Well, fascinating stuff. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, david.pacman, also on the web, instagram.com slash david.pacman. I have a face swap I did with my dad, which I'm going to be posting today, which I predict Lewis next week is going to be probably the most liked picture on my Instagram. It's pretty funny. It, I looked at it. It is quite funny. And for reasons that some uh, old fans of the show might uh, find humorous as well. Really? Yeah. Well, the, the, the Guatam thing. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll deal with that next week. Anyway, let's, uh, let's continue. I don't want to, I don't want to halt the progress of the show. Warby Parker is offering a free five day home try on to give you the opportunity to check out their glasses. I personally wear Warby Parker glasses when I'm not wearing my contact lenses. And I also started with one of these free at home try ons of five pairs of glasses. You can get your free home try on and support the David Pakman show at warbyparkertrial.com slash TDPS. I don't really like going into glasses stores and trying on glasses while the salesperson sort of hovers over me. And I like more than 30 seconds to actually figure out whether I like the glasses. So with the Warby Parker home try on, I was able to pick five pairs that I liked, put them on in the comfort of my own home, pick the one I like the most, and then Warby Parker put my prescription lenses in there for me. A lot of people don't know that the eyeglass industry is controlled by just a few big corporations that keep prices very high, like $300 for prescription glasses high, which is just insane. Warby Parker glasses start at $95. That's what mine cost. And for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need. You can try five pairs and see what you like. Check out the at home trial and support our show by going to warbyparker.com slash TDPS. It costs nothing. 